reminds me of Archer, the cartoon character. I don't know if you're familiar with <laughs> the way he speaks. I do know. Um, that why don't you? Is, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and, and read this for us? Uh, here's the first text. So this is with between him and his lawyer, who is a white guy. I checked. Which is hilarious too. I think everybody is making that a huge part of the story as well as that his white lawyer. It's like, well, does that make it better? I mean, if if his lawyer was black, well, we all know that no, lawyers I... can't be black because Joe Biden. <laughs> look, <laughs> um, let's see. There is there is zero coverage or pick up of the story. Wait, is that part of it? Yeah, yeah, okay. They spend a ton of resources on it for a year, blah, blah, blah. Thank you, Michael Cohen. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he's joking around calling him Michael Cohen. <laughs> okay, and then obviously even the word because is misspelled here, which is kind of funny <laughs> as well. You better not, inward, inward. Okay, with the, with the soft A though, you know. So he's not going with the hard R, which I guess to your point does make him a little bit cooler. But, you know, like maybe <laughs> kind of like a uh, like a zoomer, you know. Um, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. Okay, now, now maybe for me, uh, perhaps I'm a boomer in this sense because I don't even know what Hennessy rates are. Like, I, I'm guessing because Hennessy's people... an expensive liquor. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, I wow. know back in New York we used to say like anything is possible. We were out partying, you know, but this is this is all very strange to me. Um, and then it goes on. Clever son of a gun. Um, mm-hmm. And again, I ask think him why this, he's so town. Yeah. Look, look, I think this though is just just a distraction. Like I said, so now we're not talking about bar- barisma. Now you can't talk about inflation. Now you're not going to talk about the border. You're not going to talk about anything. You're just going to talk about text messages from three years ago. So it's a distraction. Do I think that these guys are racist? Um, Probably, but not because of this, right? These are like old school races. I mean, Joe Biden is right, the, the 94 crime bill and, and you ain't black and all sorts of things. So I don't think these text messages prove that he's racist. I think a lot of other things prove that they might be a little smidge, if nothing else, racist in the sense of, uh, you know, what do they say? The, the soft bigotry of low expectations, right? So this is just a distraction as far as I'm concerned. So then they go on to say, um, they're joking about God loving you unconditionally, and then he says, oh my God, <laughs> N-word. It feels so stupid to even censor yourself for a word, but did you just, uh, I don't know what he's trying to say, did you just take a fictional character from the imagination of the collective frightened and my dead brother's unconditional love is what I should rely on? Did you just say a fictional character? And my kids aren't children, Georgie? My parents' love was conditioned my penis as of late has been unconditional <laughs> he goes on with some true dats um some true but, dats. <laughs> yeah rob do you have any opinion left on hunter biden at this point i mean this is a guy that i mean it was already at my opinion of him was already at the floor like so pretty much was already couldn't you know can only go up from there after hearing about the parmesan cheese and everything so i mean nothing surprises me honestly with that whole family my coworker dave is a huge fan of the naked hunter biden photos where he's like planking across furniture and he's this guy was obsessed with taking photos of himself naked i don't know why but it doesn't stop there more of his text um about i guess he was dating a stripper and he kept her on the payroll of his um, consulting company while she was pregnant. I don't know why, but he goes, here's the title of the article, Hunter Biden in laptop chat, strippers truly, truly love their jobs. And he goes, he actually goes on to say to, goes on to praise strippers. I talk to strippers. I don't do anything else. Biden says at one point in the conversation as his companion chuckles, I've always said they're some of the most fascinating people I've ever met in my life. The most genuine. The chat appeared to occur over a meal with silverware clinking in the background. Who in the world can say to a woman that they cannot make a choice for the talent that they love? Biden asked rhetorically as the two discussed their career. And there they are, the two lovebirds. There's Hunter. Again, another naked po- <laughs> pose for him. And an ex-stripper who I'm not familiar with at all. Baby Mama London Roberts. You know you're reading a high-quality article when it says Baby Mama. 
But more than talent, Hunter continues, it's something that every woman has. It is the ultimate toolkit. And women use it whether they're in the checkout, they're in the checkout line or whether they're at the club. The audio file ends abruptly as Biden, Biden switches off a recording device and he appears to not know no was activated, Eric. So not only is he going on this ridiculous rant, he didn't realize he was recording himself, I'm guessing on his laptop, and then, of course, ends up forgetting the laptop. Yeah, well, he's a crackhead. He kind of reminds me of, like, <laughs> of a... Uh, uh, this is going to sound awful, like... Little like Dennis Reynolds, sort of like from It's Always Sunny. He's like, you know, I, if you're nice. in my if you're in my house, you know, if you're in my bedroom, you gotta make make sure you know that the camera's always rolling. You know what I mean? He's just kind of obsessed with this. All these nudes, him smoking crack, him with these, I mean, underage women as well. I mean, the list goes on and on. And that's why I think that him dropping the in bomb in a text message is is vanilla, bro. 